Today on Dylan Talks, so we're gonna take a journey into the paranormal. The Squire Paranormal Series uh, by Fender. This is, I believe they call it the Stratosonic. As we alluded to in the intro, it is the paranormal manipulation of the senses when you take a Gibson-style guitar and smash it with a Fender guitar. This is the result. And let me tell you, it is very cool. Before we get into the particulars on this instrument, I want to thank my Patreon supporters and the YouTube members. Hit the little join button down there and use the little super thanks thing. Uh, those are the folks that make these kinds of videos possible because, you know, we say stuff about guitars sometimes. And maybe those guitar brands don't really like it, so we don't get a whole lot of free stuff around here. So we use the Patreon dollars for videos such as this. So thank you so much to everybody who supports the channel by using those Patreon links, as well as buying pickups from Dylan Talks Tone and the other affiliate links down below. We'll have the guitar linked and all that stuff. So thank you to everybody that does that. Uh, and subscribes and whatever. Wait, let's get into this particular guitar. This is a very interesting instrument because it is a Strat body, but that's pretty much where the Strattiness stops. Well, I suppose the peg head too, uh, but, the scale length is 24.75. As you may or may not be aware, Fender scale length is 25 and a half, so it's three quarters of an inch longer. Which really interesting is, playing this guitar, you can feel that. You can feel the frets being narrower. You know, I've got a bunch of, I have a lot of 25 and a half inch scale guitars, and if I pick this up, it feels very stratty, but it also feels kind of short, which is very interesting. What does that do? When you, uh, shorten the scale length of a guitar, it makes the strings more slinky feeling. It makes them feel a little more bendable. Uh, and overall, kind of easier to play. Uh, it changes the tone of the guitar as well because it changes the relationship of the frets to one another. That's more than just when the strings are open, but it actually, the frets are closer together too. Um, the pickups are a different space because of that. And overall, the guitar plays completely differently than a 25 and a half inch scale. So this is not just a Strat with P90s in it. This is a completely re-engineered guitar. I'm gonna get into a couple of different changes I'm gonna show you as well. Uh, so, I guess let's go tip to tail with this thing, and we'll talk about, now that we've got the, the scale length out of the way, we'll go tip to tail on this thing, and I'll tell you some of the features. Uh, we've got the vintage style safety post tuners, which honestly, I really like. These seem to be very stable. I don't see any real reason to replace them or upgrade them. They're very, very nice. It does have, I really like this black front peg head and it's done very well. Sometimes uh, less expensive guitars are a little sloppy in the way their paintwork is around the top of the peg head, but this is actually really good. We've also got the nut right here. Uh, it is a plastic nut. It seems fine. It's cut to the right height. There's no issues with it. Um, the modern crowd will want to probably replace this with a tusk or a bone nut because that's what nut snobs do, 
But if you are a person who is just enjoying the instrument to enjoy the instrument, I don't think you need to worry about it. It's fine. It sounds good. The guitar sounds great. So don't stress about the nut. Uh, it's cut properly and it feels good and don't worry about it. Don't stress about that. Uh, it does, guitar does come with Fender's crappy nines on it. So, uh, we're going to get into some of our mods because this is actually the first of two videos that we're going to do with this guitar. Um, so we'll get into some of the things that we're going to change about this guitar later in the video. So stay tuned for that. Uh, the frets are kind of a medium fret. Like I said, no frets. There's no fret sprout. There's no quality problems with the neck. The neck is very, 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 um, Fender. It's just a Fender C profile neck. It feels very differently than the Gibson. Now I've got a Gibson SG Junior up there. Uh, we played these guitars back to back on Patreon. So you can go over to Patreon and check out that video. Um, and we will also do some more of that in the next video coming up. I'll show you some back to back things with the Gibson as well. Um, and another uh, single custom P90 guitar that I have as well. But the, the neck is very different to a Gibson. The, it is not the same at all whatsoever. It is very Fender. It is very just nice Fender C profile. One of the other design changes to this guitar that make this totally crazy and not normal Fender is there's about a three to four, I can't tell exactly, but about a three to four degree neck angle milled into the neck pocket of this guitar to accommodate for this bridge type. So normally on a tremolo style guitar, like a normal Strat, there's no neck angle. There's no, like on a Tele or a Strat, there's no neck angle. It's completely flat, right? But because of this uh, bridge type, we have to put this neck angle in there. So they've milled that. It's not a shim. They've milled that into uh, the, the body of the guitar. So it's done very well. Um, and it feels, <laughs> it feels different. That little couple degrees, I, I picked it up immediately and I was like, oh, wow. The guitar is bent in the middle, like a Gibson, which is very interesting and normal. That's that's normal for a Gibson style guitar, but a different design change for a Strat. Uh, the other thing is, I really like the shape of this pick guard. I think it's very cool. Um, and then these pickups. <laughs> Also got two push pull pots. The uh, volume pot pulls up for putting these pickups from parallel to series when they're in the middle position, and it sounds thusly. And then the tone pot pulls up. When the pickups are in the middle position, it now goes out of phase and it sounds like this. Overall, this is a very cool guitar. Now, I know there's gonna be people in the comments saying it's sacrilegious or whatever goofy traditional mumbo jumbo they wanna say, uh, but this is a very cool guitar. If you're a Fender person, but you want the P90 sound, uh, this is a very reasonably priced guitar. 429 bucks, um, very well done, nice quality. It's an Ocum body. It appears to be three pieces, I think which that's par for the course for Squire stuff. It's very light. Um, it is, it's not heavy at all. Uh, it's very light and it sounds fantastic. Um, I am very impressed. I personally, because we say this all the time and I brag about it with 
no shame whatsoever that we make the best pickups, the best P90s in the world. And the neck pickup on this guitar is very kind of dead and muddy and sounding when you do various things with it. And so I will be replacing the pickups in this guitar. This is going to get uh, a set of our P90s in it. We are not going to replace the wiring because the wiring is very cool and it works. Uh, and it's to be seems to be quality. I'm not going to worry about it. I don't want to mess with anything that's not worth messing with. You know what I mean? Because the guitar is so cool. But because I'm a pickup guy and because it's fun and because I want you to hear them, we're going to go ahead and put a set of our P90s in it and we're going to make another video probably later this week. Um, in that video, we will also compare this to a Gibson SG Junior so that you can kind of um, decide for yourself. Is it Gibson enough? Is it still stratty? Same scale length, all those things. In the next video, we're gonna just play them back to back and let me know what you think. If you want a sneak preview of that, you can go to the Patreon and hear it right now and leave your comments over there and let me know what you think because it's a very interesting thing. Um, and we're gonna put tens on it. We're gonna put string joy strings on it because I can't stand these strings. And uh, yeah, I think it's gonna be a kind of a fun little project. We'll talk about the wiring that is necessary and the options that you have to ask for on your pickups when you do this type of wiring. So we'll talk about how to wire parallel and series uh, into a normal guitar um, in the next video as well, because that's a cool, cool feature. Yeah, it's very cool, man. Thanks everybody for hanging out and, and checking this out with me. Uh, please make sure you hit the like button and the subscribe button and the little bell so you don't miss that next video. And uh, like I said, check out the little extras over there on Patreon. I think you'll dig them. We'll see you in the next video.